student friends now we will uh, uh, derive wine's uh, displacement law from uh, planck's uh, law in earlier lectures uh, we have uh, derived wine's distribution law uh, religion's law and stephen's fourth power law from uh, planck's law of uh, radiation now we will uh, derive the wine's displacement law so if you look at the uh, black body uh, radiation spectrum then uh, we have seen that uh, uh, if you look at the nature of the black body radiation curve there are different temperatures then it is observed that the energy uh, density increases uh, with respect to wavelength it attains the maximum value and further uh, increase in wavelength will cause Uh, the decrease in uh, uh, intensity of the uh, black body radiation so at the particular uh, wavelength the intensity is maximum so if you look at this uh, curve at particular temperature then you will observe that this is a uh, uh, maximum intensity at this particular wavelength if you look at the uh, another curve then again you will observe that the uh, this is the particular wavelength at which the intensity is maximum so here it is observed that uh, as the temperature increases uh, then this uh, wavelength corresponding to maximum uh, intensity uh, decreases or it shifts towards the uh, shorter wavelength side so in short we can write that if you call this as lambda m as the in, uh, wavelength corresponding to the maximum uh, intensity then it is inversely proportional to the temperature absolute temperature of the black body or in short we can write this as lambda m into this t is equal to constant so actually this uh, is observed uh, from the uh, black body radiation spectrum so this lambda m into t is equal to constant it is called as uh, wine's uh, displacement law and that law we are uh, going to derive by uh, using uh, the planck's uh, radiation law so we have uh, obtained a, a expression for the energy density in the uh, frequency range or in the wavelength range between lambda and d lambda as if you remember that we have proved and that equation is e lambda d lambda is equal to this 8 pi h c divided by this lambda raised to 5 into 1 upon e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 into this d lambda so this is the uh, planck's radiation law in terms of the uh, wavelength or this uh, we can also write as e lambda uh, is equal to uh, 8 pi h c divided by lambda raised to 5 into 1 upon e raised to h c divided by this lambda k t minus 1 so this is the energy uh, density at the particular uh, wavelength lambda now we have to obtain the uh, wine's distribution law but uh, if you look at uh, the condition for the wine's distribution law then you will observe that so this is the maximum intensity point so uh, that means if you uh, uh, consider mathematically we can write for this uh, maximum uh, intensity point uh, corresponding to uh, which the wavelength is lambda m we have called it as so for that maximum uh, uh, intensity uh, we can write this as d d lambda of this e lambda is equal to 0 so that is the condition and at this particular condition wavelength lambda is equal to uh, lambda m which is the wavelength corresponding to the maximum Uh, energy or maximum intensity at that particular temperature of the black body so if you solve this uh, you will get the required expression uh, required uh, wine's uh, displacement law so we can uh, solve this by writing as we can write this as d d lambda of value of e lambda is i think but 8 pi h c divided by lambda raised to 5 into 1 upon e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 and this differentiation it should equal to 
or I can simplify this equation as I can take 8 pi c outside the differentiation term because 8 pi c is a constant term. So, I can write this as 8 pi h c into this d d lambda of I can write this as lambda raised to minus phi u and this term I can write as e raised to h c divided by this uh, lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 1 and it is equal to g. So, this uh, since this term is constant again I can write this as d d lambda of this uh, lambda raised to phi u because it will uh, vanish. So, in lambda raised to phi u into e raised to h c divided by lambda into this k t minus 1 and raised to minus 1 is equal to 0. So, I have to take the differentiation by uh, using the product rule that means I can take differentiation of first into second term as it is plus differentiation of first uh, second term and into first term as it is. So, I can use product rule and I can write this as I will write this as uh, I can take differentiation of lambda raised to minus uh, phi u as uh, minus phi u into lambda raised to minus 6 into this term as it is means e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 1 this term as it is plus first term as it is means lambda raised to minus phi u as it is and differentiation of this term. So, I have to take the differentiation of this term as minus 1 into e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 2 uh, as per the uh, definition of this differentiation and I have to take the differentiation of this term e raised to h c divided by lambda k t. So, that differentiation will be e raised to h c divided by lambda into this k t into differentiation of this uh, s c divided by lambda k t with respect to lambda it will be h c divided by k t and differentiation of 1 upon lambda will be minus 1 upon lambda square and it is equal to 0. So, this term uh, I, I will get and I have to simplify this. So, if you look at this as here is a minus 1 upon lambda square and here is minus uh, 1. So, it will be this term will again a uh, plus term and this is lambda raised to minus phi u e raised to sc by lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 2 into this e raised to sc by lambda k t into sc divided by lambda k t. So, after simplifying this term uh, means uh, this, this minus 1 upon lambda square into minus 1 it will be plus term and since this is minus. I can equate this term, uh, uh, these two terms equal to each other. So, this is minus and this term will plus therefore, I can equate this term to uh, uh, equal to each other. So, that I will write this as, I will write this as minus phi u lambda raised to minus 6 into e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 1 is equal to that uh, differentiation uh, term uh, uh, that term will be as lambda raised to minus phi u uh, into that 1 upon lambda square it will be lambda raised to minus 2 uh, and again it will be e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 2 into this e raised to h c divided by into this lambda k t and that uh, constant term is nothing but h c divided by k t and we have taken 1 upon lambda square as here lambda uh, lambda is to minus 2. So, again if I uh, uh, sorry this will be plus term because uh, we have equated so this will be plus. So, I have to again uh, simplify uh, this side as I can uh, write this as lambda raised to minus 7 e raised to h c divided by lambda k t minus 1 raised to minus 2 into this e raised to 
sc divided by this uh, lambda kt into this sc divided by kt so this term is uh, 5 into lambda raised to minus 6 into e raised to sc divided by lambda kt minus 1 raised to uh, minus 1 now this lambda raised to minus 6 lambda uh, raised to minus 7 uh, on the rhs there will be lambda raised to minus 1 so we can take to to the uh, denominator and uh, miss this lambda raised to minus 6 will get cancelled and i will take this phi to the right hand side so that i will get this term as e raised to hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 raised to minus 1 is equal to uh, this lambda I will take to this term and I can write this as e raised to hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 raised to minus 2 e raised to hc divided by lambda kt into this hc divided by uh, I will take phi uh, to this side so phi and this uh, lambda raised to minus 1 this will be here lambda into this uh, kt so i will get the term like this now if you look at this exponential terms or uh, this is a uh, raised to minus 1 and this term is raised to minus 2 so this will get cancelled and here will be raised to minus 1 and if i take to rhs i will get this term as e raised to hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 raised to plus 1 for this minus 1 this minus 1 would cancel and if this term i take to lhs it will become raised to plus 1 and uh, it will equal to e raised to hc divided by lambda kt into hc divided by phi u into this lambda kt so in this way we have uh, simplified uh, this uh, term so I can uh, uh, write this term as I can take this to LHS and this minus 1 to RHS so that I can write this as e raised to hc divided by lambda kt minus e raised to hc divided by lambda kt into this hc divided by phi u lambda into this kt uh, is equal to this plus 1 because I have taken this term to lhs so that it will be negative and this plus will if it if i take on um, rhs it will become plus one so now i can take e raised to uh, sc by lambda kt common from these two terms so that i will write this as e raised to sc divided by lambda kt into bracket one minus sc divided by phi u lambda kt this is equal to one So I have, uh, I will uh, get uh, this term as e raised to uh, sc divided by lambda kt. So this is kt. Sorry, uh, into bracket one minus sc divided by phi lambda kt is equal to one. Now uh, let us uh, put here uh, as or let us take x is equal to in order to simplify this equation. Let us take x is equal to sc divided by lambda kt. So that uh, this equation will become e raised to x into bracket 1 minus x by phi u is equal to 1. Since this sc by uh, lambda kt is equal to x, so this equation will now become as e raised to x into bracket 1 minus x divided by phi u is equal to 1. I will get this term like this. So I have to simplify this e raised to x into bracket 1 minus uh, x by phi u is equal to 1. I have to uh, simplify this. So the equation is e raised to x into bracket 1 minus x divided by phi u is equal to 1. I have to simplify this. So again, if you look at this equation, uh, x equal to 0 will be the solution of uh, this equation. x equal to 0 uh, will be the solution of differential mathematically, but it is not allowed because we have the value of x is equal to hc divided by lambda kt and so this is the definite value it is not a zero value so x equal to zero is not allowed so we have to find another value of the x which will satisfy uh, this equation so that uh, i will write this as 1 minus x divided by phi u is equal to 1 upon e raised to x 
or uh, I can write this as x divided by phi u is equal to 1 minus 1 upon e raised to x or I can write this as x is equal to phi u minus phi u divided by e raised to x. So, we have obtained the value of x, we know that x equal to uh, this uh, hc divided by uh, lambda kt, actually this is, uh, we have taken x equal to hc divided by lambda kt. So, this equation is uh, true if we uh, use the value of x is equal to 4.965. For this value of x, this equation is true, you can, ch you can check. So, therefore, we can write this as x equal to 4.9 9 pi uh, 6 is equal to uh, value of x is hc divided by lambda into this kt or you can write this as lambda into t is equal to you can write this as hc divided by k into you can write this as 4.965 can use this one if you use the uh, value of uh, h which is we know that 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 in units of joule second velocity of light as 3 into 10 raised to 8 uh, meter per second then Boltzmann constant we know that it is 1.38 into 10 raised to minus 23 joule per degree Kelvin and the constant value 4.96 high. So, you will get uh, this uh, uh, constant value as it will be 2.898 into 10 raised to minus 3. This is nothing but meter degree Kelvin. So, this is nothing but meter degree Kelvin. So, what we will get? We will get this lambda into t is equal to, we will get this lambda into this t is equal to some constant value, I will call, call it as b and that value is 2.898 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter degree Kelvin. So, this equation is true, this equation is true for which condition? for the maximum intensity. So, this is the wavelength corresponding to the maximum intensity. Therefore, I will write this as lambda m. So, that you will get final equation as lambda m into t is equal to constant. And as I told you at the beginning of the lecture, this is nothing but the Wien's uh, displacement law. Remember, this Wien's displacement law is uh, very uh, useful uh, in uh, determining the temperature of the hot objects particularly it is used to obtain the temperature of the hot objects like uh, stars. So, it is a very uh, important uh, equation from that point of view. So, that is how one can derive uh, Wien's uh, displacement law from Planck's uh, radiation law. So, I think uh, you might have enjoyed this lecture. I uh, request to you to subscribe my uh, channel by clicking the button at the uh, right uh, corner, right below corner uh, of this uh, video, so that you will get uh, more and more interesting videos uh, in physics in uh, coming uh, future, coming future. Thank you for watching this uh, lecture.